ribs. Good morning everyone. Happy Monday. It is currently Monday the 11th and I am going down to London today very early on because I have two events that I will be attending. Um, I'm going to go down and stay. So first off I am going... I actually don't know if I'm allowed to say. Then this evening, very excitingly, I'm going to the launch of Millie Bobby Brown's perfume. So obviously she owns a brand, Florence by Mills, which was like originally skincare and then it did other things. And now she's doing perfume and I'm going to the launch of the, of the brand and apparently she's gonna be there. Like I, I don't know why I've been invited. Like, there's probably going to be a load of big creators and potentially other celebrities there because it's the London event. I didn't think of it that way. Oh shit. And like, I'm going to rock up, probably wearing smart casual because I have got another event to go to. Millie Bobby Brown. I have a purple dress because her brand is purple, so I was like, I'm going to wear purple. But I thought I'd take you along. On this weekly vlog, I'm gonna sit and get ready now. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm ready. But my problem is, is that I'm having to wear this and my little autistic brain is like, you are going to stick out like a sore thumb and this is going to be really bad for your social socialising. But I'm sure nobody will care. It's very much a thing that I worry about that I'm, I feel like neurotypicals and non-autistic people just don't think about. But I do because I worry about everything. I've cashed it up with some docks. Little t-shirt underneath. It's still very blurry. It's like got leaves on. I think it's cute and it's nice and warm. Right lads, I'm in my hotel. I'm ready, I'm dressed. I'm wearing the same dress, but I've just took the t-shirt off because I think it, it makes it more fancy, but I do still think like this is quite casual because I've got my docks with my socks. It's a nice dress, it goes with the brand, but like it's not super fancy. It's just a summer event in a botanical roof garden, you know? Um, I should probably, probably not talk too loud actually because that door right there is like the main corridor that people walk. It's the main corridor that people walk past to get everywhere. Like, I, I really don't like being in this place because I feel like I have to be really quiet. Had a fun day. Um, don't think I can say much to be honest, but it was fun. Nice group of people working with a brand where I'm like, this is absolutely insane. Like, this is mad. Who decided that me, of all people, should be taken to London to work with them. And it's not over yet, that was just the first of like the larger work that I'm doing with them, which is just like, I don't know guys, sometimes the imposter syndrome hits and I don't really feel like I should be here. I don't know. I'm getting a bit of a headache, I'm pretty sure it's probably, I don't know why I'm filming like this, it's probably a period migraine. I genuinely would like to get my uterus removed. I just, I just want it gone. I want it gone. I'll see what I can film. I don't want to be like on my phone or my camera the whole night. Apparently there's going to be fake tattoos. There's going to be card readings. So about last night, I had a really nice time. It was a very casual, oh, my new temporary tattoo. It was a very like casual, chill, sort of like intimate event. Um, I made a friend because obviously I went alone. I found somebody else who was on their own, grabbed them and went, we're friends now. So I made a friend. I met Millie Bob, <laughs> can't say her name. I met Millie Bobby Brown. She was actually there. 
got a picture with that. I'll insert the video and pictures that I made now. So I went to the launch of the new perfume for Florence by Mills. I don't know how I got invited to this, but it was at this amazing botanical bar in London. They had flavored cocktails. It was covered in flowers. The perfume was everywhere. They had temporary tattoos. So of course, I had to get one. It was like a really chill, intimate event. And then she actually turned up. Like Millie Bobby Brown was there and I got to meet her. Just a casual Monday evening in London. But the perfume smells great, guys. Okay, so I think you should go and buy it. <laughs> I've got the perfume on. We've got some little goodies. Perfume smells delicious. Got the perfume, put it on. Got a lip oil. Got like a hyaluronic acid thing. And very excitingly, got some angel cards. And they did like angel card readings last night. And I got, as I heal my mind, I heal my body. Whatever the hell that means. The woman said, it sounds as if you've gone through some gr- Oh, what's that? Well, it's obviously not working, is it? Because look at the state of that. The woman said that I've obviously gone through some mental growth at the moment, and I thought, sure, yeah, I guess. Today, I'm gonna go get myself a coffee. I'm gonna do some shopping, and I might take myself to the Natural History Museum, which I have been to, but it was like five, four years ago. Um, and I like to do a different museum every time I'm in London on my own. I love a date day in London by myself. It's like one of my favourite things to do because it's like an achievement when I finally do it, like when I actually get on my train and I go home because I've managed to do London by myself. And I, I like that. I like that. I like it. <laughs> everyone it's currently wednesday you coming up there she is hi princess and say hello i got back yesterday i went to the natural history museum um i'll insert the i basically made is this accessible to me as an autistic person video that i do on my instagram and tiktok the the straight answer is no guys no i'll insert the video here was the Natural History Museum in London accessible to me as an autistic person? I hate to say this guys, but no, it really wasn't. And I love a museum. I love all the fun facts, but I felt so overwhelmed in this place, mainly because of the layout and the unclear signage. There were renovations going on, but I don't think that was why. There were multiple ways of getting to one place. So it meant that there were signs that were pointing in different directions, but for the same thing. And I felt like I was walking down corridors that led to nowhere or somewhere different or somewhere completely unsigned. And there was also a one-way system in place for the dinosaur area. You essentially had to go all the way through to get out and because the corridors were quite narrow you ended up getting a bit stuck which was very overwhelming because there was no way out other than going all the way through i overall found the venue just very very chaotic and i know you're probably thinking well it's a museum but i think that clear signage can just prevent that from happening i think the lighting was fine I wouldn't recommend going on a hot day because it's very warm inside, but overall I found the gift shop to be the best place to be, but to be honest, that's usually my conclusion. <laughs> I think it's a great museum, just not clearly signed. Let me know if you had a better experience than I did. What a chaotic venue. Like, I've been before, like I said, but it was years ago. It was actually the trip to London that made me realise that, like, I, that I was autistic, actually. There was just no rhyme or reason to that building and if there's one thing that stresses me out more than my sensory issues, it's being confused. Like, I hate being confused and not knowing how to put that right. There were signs for different- for the same area. Like, signs for the same area, but pointing in different directions. One, because they had it spread out over different areas. And two, there were multiple ways of getting to the same place, which is just chaotic when it's a public venue. And then the dinosaur area, there, there was no sign to say that once you were in there, you had to go all the way around it to get back out. Like you couldn't turn around. And even though there were multiple like archways that you could walk through, they were blocked off to get out. So you had to walk all the way around this windy little corridor. But not everybody was walking one way. 
because they were stopping and going like back to certain places so you would get stuck and there was no way out and it was so warm and obviously it's a venue that's full of kids as well so it's very loud which i just think is like part of the territory but it was just it's so poorly laid out and i would end up in spaces where i thought i was walking to one thing and it wouldn't be there or it'd be something different or i wouldn't even know where i was at all i didn't even bother going upstairs because i was so overwhelmed i left after about 40 minutes and then when i posted my video so many people are saying that they feel the same way about that venue and i think a lot of people will be like oh well it's a museum like that's kind of what it's like no i've been to plenty of museums that make sense i've been to plenty of museums that where i've had a map i can understand it i know where i'm going the signage is correct and everything you know i end up where i want to be like i think the manchester museum really enjoyed that museum as much as it's small it made sense even though there's so many different like bits that you can go in it made sense and i liked it there are multiple museums in newcastle that are quite large that make sense it didn't make sense you'd think that as a big london venue they would prioritize making sure that people get in and out in the most efficient way possible especially after covid especially after covid because like they can't argue that the one-way system that they had in that bit was to make people filter through properly because that's not how it worked it just it didn't work that way it was a fucking mess it was it was a mess and i hate leaving bad reviews but that is not an accessible venue and even non-autistic people would struggle with that like that's not even just an autistic thing it was a mess and i was very disappointed because i love a museum I love fun facts, I love learning, I love seeing things, I love getting excited about something cool that I found, but I couldn't enjoy it, like I just, I couldn't enjoy it at all because it was just, it was a fucking mess. Anyway, I think my trip to London was a big success, in my opinion. I had a fun day during the day on Monday, and then I met Millie Bobby Brown at a brand event on the Tuesday, no, on the evening. I did a little bit of shopping on the Tuesday morning, got myself some nice food actually no i didn't i got a pastry and i really didn't like it it was a tiramisu bun and it just tasted like hand sanitizer like i know it's meant to be alcoholic brandy i think and coffee flavored but it just tasted like hand sanitizer it wasn't good at all and i was very disappointed i was like oh i'll leave the museum and i'll have myself a nice tiramisu bun it was horrible it was fucking horrible to say the least. Transition in the wall. Do you know what I think that's ridiculous? Thank you for using me. I just feel like that's a waste of resources. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Phil. He's full. He's done. So excited. What a kiss. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> As you may have seen from some of the clips beforehand, I managed to find a giant mushroom in TK Maxx. Here she is. She was indeed £13. She's massive. The size. Huge. I'm so very happy because I just feel like it goes so well with my living room. Probably not going to stay here. I might put it on like the corner of my sofa. River is not too sure about it, are you chicken? 
She says, I'm not really sure what that thing is. And say hello. Oh, it's just the most precious cat in the world. What are you sniffing? You can smell something, I can tell. I can tell. My plan for this Thursday afternoon, it is Thursday, isn't it? For Thursday afternoon is I'm going to clear my wardrobes out and do like the start of a spring clean, even though it's not spring. You know what I mean? Because my wardrobes, I won't lie to you guys, are a mess. I will show you. As the classic ADHD that I am, they are a mess. There are there's no rhyme or reason. It's all shoved in. I, I don't even know what's in there. I am going to be ruthless. If I haven't reached for it and I haven't wore it this summer, for the last like even this year, I'm I'm just gonna get rid of it because there's no point in me having it if I'm not if I'm not using it. So I'm gonna get rid of stuff. Might try and sell some stuff. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to even maybe do a pile of... I've not worn it in a while. I'm going to try it on, see if I still like it. And if I feel like I'm going to get used out of it, whatever. But I'm going to try and get rid of it all. And hopefully this awakens something in you that you need to clean. Okay? Let's go. I'm going to be fully honest and even show you is that this is what one of my wardrobes look like okay this is one of them and then i have a similar size wardrobe in the next room and it looks like this <laughs> like i'm not don't confuse anything and think that i live a life of luxury because this is the state of my wardrobe and this is the other one like they are both a mess they are both full of clothes that i don't wear and they're just not efficiently packed away and i just think that's very silly so i'm gonna clear them out let's get cracking i'm just gonna pull everything out that's all i'm gonna do Um, did I finish my wardrobes yesterday? No. Did I clear one and get halfway through tidying up the mess that I made? Yes. So it's still a mess. So I'm going to try and do the other one this morning. The thing is with me, if I get halfway through a task and I don't want to do it anymore, I have to stop because if I keep going, I'll just do a half job. I'll not do it properly. So I have to stop and then pick it up later. I'll show you what the other wardrobe looks like now <laughs> because it looks a lot neater but then the rest of my room is just an absolute tip because I didn't bother to tidy up and then I just went to bed it looks a lot better these are all my jumpers now you're probably thinking you probably could have got rid of so much more yeah I probably could have but it's winter and I don't know if I'm gonna wear these so um it's not it's literally not winter it's not winter yet it's getting into winter it's grey outside it's literally grim but it looks a lot better. Dresses and waistcoats, shirts, suits, jumpers. And then I tidied my drawers as well. There's a full bag here that I got rid of. A full bag and that's just from one wardrobe. Oh my god. Like, I have made such a dint that River even has a new place to sleep. Like, I just... Oh. This is one of those tasks where in my head it's been absolutely huge and all I had to do was just do it. <laughs> and now I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Now, I'm not gonna lie. It is currently Monday the 25th of September and I just gave up filming that week because I felt like I had nothing to say. So, that was what it was and this is what this is this is the end to the vlog a week after actually no no two weeks two weeks two weeks after actually starting it um i'm gonna be vlogging again at some point i just gave up and i don't know why but i hope me clearing my wardrobes out this is the stuff that i'm selling has inspired you to do some cleaning. I hope that it's inspired you as we head into the winter months and it is now autumn. It has inspired you 
to do some tidying and some cleaning and if you've got ADHD I hope this was the inspiration that you needed to do the task that you've been putting off. Um, I will see you in my next vlog within the next couple of weeks. Goodbye!